um, I will start the presentation. Um, hello, my name is In Sung Jeon, and today I will announce, I will explain about the how can we teach AI to teachers and students. And today uh, I focused on the practical cases for teaching AI and software uh, to our students. Um, today, uh, compared to the last presentation, uh, today I didn't prepare the uh, script because um, using script, I cannot be uh, flexible. So today I didn't prepare the script to be more flexible. So uh, please apologize me if I can't explain uh, better. And first of all, um, today I will share some textbook and guidebook about a uh, teacher's book, or I will share you some um, localization textbook about AI or software, but I didn't um, got a copyright. So please, uh, uh, you, can, you can record the video, but I cannot uh, share some um, presentation to um, Facebook, but I will I will delete uh, some slides and then I will share the whole slide to the Facebook chat chat room. Right. Thank you. And about speaker, uh, last year I already um, explained about me, so I can skip uh, this one. And uh, last February, I uh, graduated a PhD in computer education in KNUE, which named Korea National University of Education. Okay, let's start. Uh, first of all, I want to explain about uh, fourth industrial revolution. Um, in Korea, we have a very um, major event, AlphaGo shock in 2016. Um, it was a very famous and issued and very shock event for us because because of this AlphaGo shock, AlphaGo shock event, we uh, regard that AI is more effect effective for human and is very important for human beings, and in in same year, 2016, a Korea Employment Information Service um, has announced the fear that the job will disappear. Um, I translate uh, the Korean uh, picture from uh, Google Translation. And here you can see this part. It means that the uh, job will not unlikely to be replaced by automation, like painter, a sculptor, photograph, photographer, or musician, animator, um, singer, makeup artist. Um, in 2016, we, we regard that it, these jobs will not um, disappear by automation. But now, uh, because of ChatGPT, we can um, we can think that these jobs can also can be replaced by AI or um, automation. So now for the teacher training uh, in Korea, there are some recent trends like how to use ChatGPT for classroom for or for teachers or for uh, students. And also uh, using ChatGPT, uh, we want to make some teaching and uh, learning uh, resources using ChatGPT or um, conducting uh, ChatGPT. For example, uh, this one is a kind of uh, teaching plan using uh, ChatGPT. Uh, we can ask AI to help decide where to go. Um, so how we can use ChatGPT or AI chatbot um, to um, use in our real life. And also um, the professor in Korea National University um, developed the ChatGPT utilization 
uh, education work efficiency guide. Um, for example, um, for using text-based classes, we can use ChatGPT. Um, for evaluation, um, it cannot be useful to use ChatGPT or teacher can use ChatGPT to write a greeting message or making a draft documents or review the documents or anything can be uh, used for homework. Um, for, uh, like this, uh, in Korea, we use ChatGPT or AI to make everything like uh, for teaching or for learning or using uh, administration. We want to use AI, how to use AI for every, um, every um, uh, event. Uh, last year, I already present the present, uh, slide about AI education in Korea. Um, in Korea, AI education shows both top-down uh, national policy and bottom-up teachers and corp corporate movements. Um, for example, in top-down movement, uh, national policy, uh, nation, uh, the government uh, make a national policy and Minister of Education, educational offices and schools um, has their own personality. And in bottom-up movement, every teacher has their own personality and also teachers make um, learning community to share their own uh, teaching plan or uh, their know-how to teach uh, students about AI. And also the corporation like NGO, non, um, uh, how can I say that the corporation without, um, without uh, uh, any, anyway, uh, the corporation makes also some uh, teaching plans or learning resources for teachers and students too. Uh, in 2019, AI national strategy has shown uh, by national educational policy. Um, the government has announced the AI national strategies to make a um, AI ecosystem and also for making um, national uh, more um, um, uh, for university or the K-12 education and teacher training to use AI uh, better. And then 2020, uh, the Ministry of Education announced the first master plan of informatics education. And in this plan, uh, uh, the Ministry of Education shows how they will implement um, software education and AI education for teacher and students. So uh, officially you started uh, this plan, the government of Korea uh, has started in 2020. Yeah, yeah, it's right. A, it's already, at that time it was officially <laughs> planned your, your curriculum. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. Uh, yes, three, right. Years or, three years already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Here yeah, we were yes, starting learning ago. about something. Here we just yeah, right. started. <laughs> okay, thank but you. That's, that's just a plan, plan how to um, implement uh, informatics education. And after that, uh, same year in 2020, uh, Ministry of Education also announced a plan to spread AI and software education. Um, in this plan, um, it covers from kindergarten um, to seniors. This plan includes the establishment of an AI education platform for lifelong education. And also for the for education plans for the un underprivileged and unemployed 
and for college students and for public officers and also for and, and also include some plans for festivals and competitions to spread AI education broadly. And also in same year in 2020, the Ministry of Ed Education also announced the education policy direction and core task in the age of AI. Um, <clears throat> they, the Ministry of Education uh, looking at AI education from the perspective of communication with computers and AI education is composed of programming principles of AI and utilizing AI and also AI ethics. After this plan, uh, the AI basics and mathematics for AI curriculum is uh, developed by Minister of Education in 20. 21. And in 2022, uh, it's a very important uh, curriculum in Korea because it's, it's the mainly um, official curriculum for every student for K-12. In um, 2022 revised curriculum, the Ministry of Education includes AI to um, every student, like primary school and uh, lower secondary school and upper secondary school. In uh, primary school, um, they will, it will start in 2025, 2025. Um, the students will learn concept of computer how to command the computer and AI in daily life. Only uh, I, I, I focused on the AI. And also they will learn, explore computers in their life. And they will learn algorithms in, in their life. And they will learn basic programming and they will learn how AI is made. And in middle school, a lower secondary school, they will learn concept and characteristics of AI and AI systems. And they will distinguish AI from software and they will collect data and use AI to solve problems. Um, and with this uh, curriculum, we developed a textbook to uh, teach AI. So I prepare the textbook about um, software and also AI. Um, before I explain about uh, practical cases, um, I will show the school system in Korea first. Um, in Korea, uh, we will learn a primary school in six years, like K-12 system. And then three years, and three years for middle school and high school, the lower secondary school and uh, upper secondary school. And after that, uh, they will, um, they will um, be a undergraduate, undergraduate students to university. And then they can uh, go higher to graduate school. Um, for being a teacher, there's two ways to be a teacher in public schools. For being a primary school teacher, um, every um, pre-teacher should go to the Regional National University of Education or Korean National U University of Education. Uh, for example, I'm a primary school teacher, so I graduate from Regional National University of Education. And for being a secondary school teacher, um, pre-teacher uh, should graduate from colleges of education in uh, normal universities. Or they can also uh, graduate from Korea National University of Education. And after that, 
after graduate this course, they can get grant teaching certificate, but they should pass the teacher employment test for public schools. And this teacher employment test is occurred by a uh, Minister of Education. Uh, so um, just, just a moment. That, that is a, okay. Okay. It's so uh, sorry because it's this is so important. I see. Um, if I if I understand it, I can understand it better. So, um, the education in South Korea are uh, public. The best universities are the public ones. In Korea, mm. <laughs> or, uh, or you you have private and public universities. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right, right. But if you, I want to be a teacher in a pr uh, primary school, as you are, I have to take uh, my graduation in one of those universities, public educations, uh, university. Uh, okay, I, I, if I took uh, any other one, I can't be uh, able to, to teach at uh, primary school. Is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Um, as I graduate from Regional National University of Education, I'm a primary school teacher, but I cannot be a secondary school teacher. But there's one way to be a both um, school teacher. Um, those uh, teachers who graduate from Korea National University of Education, they can select um, double major double major, a primary school, primary education, and also secondary education. They can get two teaching certificates for okay. primary school and both secondary school. There's so only it's, it, it's not easy to be a teacher in Korea, yeah. is that right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> right, right. It's very that... hard to be a teacher in Korea. <laughs> So yeah, we can this see how this is case. okay. Yeah. Sorry. Just by Korean National University of Education, it's a special case because of is uh, consists by um, Minister of Education. So it is very special case. Mm -hmm. That's that's good. Thank you very much. Um, so now I will, I will show my uh, class practical case um, for my school, especially a uh, primary school. Um, <clears throat> this semester, I mean the first semester, this semester we teach 18 uh, period for 18 weeks. So I, will, I teach um, programming to my students every uh, one hour a week for 18 weeks. So in 18 weeks, I teach about um, what is software and find some examples of software in our life. And also we can uh, learn about um, procedure thinking, oh no, algorithm algorithm and um, I also include about CS, how to make a, a password with encryption rules. And then I teach them uh, how to make code and how, and also understanding programming. And then, um, I teach them about um, basic AI, how to experience the principle of AI. And after that, I will, um, they, the, the uh, students will learn uh, the program with uh, programming and making a code with programming languages. Um, for teaching um, software, I use uh, ESOF, 
which means uh, EBS software. And EBS means that educational broadcasting system, um, kind of semi um, national broadcasting system in Korea. Um, in uh, this platform, we can use um, those resources for teaching software. Uh, let me show you the examples. Um, can you see this web page? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, this is kind of learning map. And they can access uh, this learning map with click uh, the special period. And then they can uh, solve the problems with my teaching resources. So I prepare, I recorded my classes to show my class to you. Uh, um, for one period, I teach them 40 minutes. Now it's 11, 11th period. I use a block programming software using in Korea to make code. Uh, this time, I already gave them um, some time to make code. And now I uh, make code with them with my answers and algorithms. And then, uh, oh, sorry. Oh. Oh. And then I tried them uh, with storytelling uh, technology, uh, storytelling method. Um, in uh, this platform, I can show some videos about um, about this learning map. So they can watch the videos and solve the problems to um, to solve whole um whole uh, learning map to to solve the whole learning map and now i teach them um to experience ai they learned about uh, how to recognize face. And after that, uh, they learn AI using code.org, AI for oceans. And then, I interview them um, how they feel uh, after they learn uh, AI or software. Um, <clears throat> I ask them in English and they, uh, they have their own um, uh, questionnaires in Korean. It looks like 
um, they prepare some answers, but I didn't control them or I didn't give them any, um, any answers. They um, answers with their own thoughts. Now in grade six, we are learning about software. Oh, can you hear the sound? Yes. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> coding. Now in grade six, we are learning about software, coding, and AI, which is different from the computer use and ICT use we learned in grade four and five. So I want to ask you some questions about uh, software and programming class. Mm, okay, Num first, are you usually interested in computer class? And if you have reason, then why? 원래 컴퓨터에 관심이 없었는데 컴퓨터를 하고 나니까 관심이 조금 생겼어요. Thank you. And the second one, do you find learning about software in grade 6 interesting? And if you have any reason why? 원래 의미가 없었는데 수업을 듣고 나서 재미있어졌어요. Thank you. And another one. Did learning about software make you realize the importance of programming or how to code? Okay, thank you. And another question. After learning about coding, have you ever thought about how to solve a problem step by step? Okay, Oban. In the second semester, we are going to build a robot and learn about AI. Is there anything you would like to learn? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for our students. Now, and also in in my school, we also um perform a teacher community, teacher learning community to learn AI. Uh, they are all uh, primary school teachers. And um, every month I explain about AI or how to use AI to um, in our classroom to our uh, teachers. And <clears throat> for uh, in my graduate school, graduate uh, university, I also teach uh, teachers. So this is a uh, teacher training curriculum, only uh, one subject. Uh, the name is AI uh, learning method, learning method using AI um, for 15 weeks and 45 hours. So we, I, I teach uh, teachers about purpose of AI convergence education and education to understand AI, education using AI, and method of AI conver convergence education and education, um, education with AI ethics and evaluation and discussion for future of education. Uh, now I will introduce some textbooks about primary school and um, high school and localization textbooks. Uh, first, I will share the primary school practical textbooks, uh, especially programming lessons. Um, I use Google translation to translate a Korean textbook to English. So it might be a little bit weird to read some text text. Um, for in primary school, uh, the programming section is included in a practical subject, only one uh, lessons and 17 hours, 17 to 18 hours. In these lessons, we learn what is software and what uh, software, uh, how software works. And also we can learn 
uh, what is structure of the program? Understanding software and softwares and our lives. Um, the algorithm about procedures. Uh, it's it's um, uh, procedures, how we can uh, trip to other cities and using these directions um, Let me use this one. We can use directions to go to um, destination from starting point. And then we learn programming with programming languages, especially uh, entry the programming language using in Korea. So, the students learn um, procedures and uh, selection and loop structure in these lessons. So they, they learn um, loop structures and also selection structures. And uh, this is the teacher's guidebook. In teacher's guidebook, uh, we can use it uh, for how to teach um, these lessons for 18 weeks. It's a kind of teaching plans. And this is the, this is the textbook for students. And with um, textbook, we can understand how can uh, how can we teach um, with this textbook, with, with this one? There is kind of how, uh, which uh, we have to focus on when we teach AI or software, or how can we evaluate uh, students? So this is for primary school. And now I will show the upper secondary school about AI basics. Um, there are five sections for um, AI basics. First section is understanding AI. Uh, there are seven publishers for teaching uh, for um, uh, AI basics, but I prepare only four publishers. Um, in these sections, we learn how AI can uh, move society, or how can we um, how can we live with AI. And also we learn about um, AI and agents, uh, intelligence agents. Um, and every end of sections, uh, some publishers include creative convergence projects, which means uh, students can um, learn uh, this section with um, project-based learning. And this section, it uh, includes principles and uses of AI. Uh, first, recognition. They learn the recognition with sensors, or they will learn a recognition 
um, with speech recognition or video recognition and text recognition. And then um, they learn searching algorithm and also inferences. And this is the most important part, uh, learning. In this section, they learn about uh, how AI can learn the world. And also uh, they can learn how they can train AI. And then they can make own AI models. First, they, they learn data, how we can uh, prepare data and uh, pre-process the data. And then they learn about the models like classification and regression. And uh, machine learning also. And last section, uh, the social impact of AI, uh, it contains the AI ethics. So we learn about um, how AI can um, impact, effect, uh, affect the world. So we learn AI ethics in this section too. And in this section, we learn about data bias, which can affect uh, the whole AI models. And last one, I will introduce the textbook with a uh, localizing textbook. Uh, it means that every textbook is by Ministry of Education, uh, national curriculum, but after a uh, national curriculum issued, every um, office, educational office in uh, cities, they can develop their own um, curriculum too. So they, in, um, in my city, um, the office, educational office of our city also developed their own AI or software curriculum and textbook. Um, this is the localization textbook in my city. Uh, this, this one is for teachers. It's a teaching and learning materials. Uh, in this book is only for teachers. They, uh, this book uh, contains about the national curriculum and how to teach AI or software to students for teachers. It contains also what is machine learning and creating an AI model with teachable machine. and some teaching plans or worksheet for uh, students. Some practical examples. So they can, uh, teachers can print um, this, this worksheet and they can, teachers can use it uh, for their students. And for middle school, we also developed the localization textbooks. Uh, in this book, uh, also contains uh, the teaching plan and some worksheet for students. And also, they gave some um, the slides, teaching slides for teachers. This is our city map. So this localization textbook only focus on our city. So we use this city localization, localization textbook uh, for teaching AI focused on our uh, city. Yeah, 
uh, that's all um, for my um, ex uh, presentation. Oh, thank you so much. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing what you have already done by now. It's <laughs> really <laughs> so. Uh, maybe you can uh, change your view now. Oh, yeah, thanks. So uh, I'm sure all of you have a lot of questions and comments. So Adele, do you want to start? <laughs> I will think, well, how many questions would you like to, <laughs> to pose the question? <laughs> Thank you so much for your, uh, your presentation. It was really interesting. It was like uh, traveling inside uh, the Korean uh, school system. Uh, thanks to these uh, video live uh, videos from with your classes inside your classes with your students. It was really interesting. I really like it. Uh, I just have a question about the high school. I mean, do you, do you teach, uh, for example, uh, in, in um, AI in text-based languages like Python? Oh, in high school? Yes, or? in upper secondary school, we can use Python uh, mm. to teach AI. Mm. And in middle school, is it blocks programming? Yes. Mm -hmm. So text-based is uh, from uh, high school, right? This is what I got. Yeah, uh, especially in uh, middle school, um, mm -hmm. I, I, as I'm a primary school, primary school teacher, but I mm -hmm. heard the cases uh, from middle school teachers. Uh, in mm -hmm. middle school, um, in uh, general, uh, general period, um, students can learn a block. Uh, a uh, uh, students can learn AI or software using block programming programming language. And after um, school, um, there are some after school activities. In in the after school activities, uh, teachers can uh, Python or JavaScript to learn if they want more. For example, we did teach with Python from elementary and middle school for gifted class, gifted student class. We use Python. Python. And how many hours these students, these after school clubs or activities per week do they have? Do they have? Mm, it depends on uh, school's condition, but uh, in my school, I, in my school, we also have some after school um, activities. Um, in my school, about 150 uh, students uh, participated in after school activities. Thank you so much. Thanks, Adele. Alex, you would you like to ask something? Do you, do you have a a public paper about the the result? And the the curriculum, curriculum in South Korea with use uh, artificial intelligence in school. What is the what is it the uh, like a comparison be before and after the the, the academic result in the students using artificial intelligence? Um, maybe we have, but only in Korean, right? I think we have the public paper, but only in Korean. Not we are trying in Korean, to, in English, yeah, no, publish, not English. Yeah, we are <laughs> trying to make the uh, public paper in this year. Yes, we, we will make it. 
that's interesting. Please let us know when you have it published. Very interesting to know. Mm -hmm. Anders, would you like to ask something or comments? Mm, I'm thinking. <laughs> I have no, no questions so far about AI, but I have one question. <clears throat> In Sweden, we have a, a third certificate for teachers as well. But in Sweden, we have a lot of uneducated teachers uh, in, in the schools too. Uh, about maybe 70% is uh, uh, cert certificate teachers and the rest, no education. How is it in Korea? Is it only cert certificate teachers? No, no other people in, in school. Do you understand my question? I'm, I'm concerned about Sweden. We are whoo, going down, I think. Yes, we can teach only uh, public certification uh, teachers in public school, but uh, on the the other case uh, maybe after school class you can teach uh, without uh, certification by MOE yeah okay but but all all, all teachers in school are are graduated teachers so to speak yes okay right. yes oh uh, except yeah, and you are lucky school, yeah. <laughs> Mm. Uh, sorry, is it the same also for computer science teachers? I mean, uh, in high school and middle school, they should be in the same time uh, computer scientist plus uh, 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 qualification in education or something like this. If someone want to be a teacher, uh, they should be they should graduate from every um, teacher education system, I mean the university. So after that, they should um, <clears throat> they should get uh, the teacher certificate. Let's say I want to be computer science teacher in Korea. I mean, a person wants to be, and he he is in the end of, for example, grade 12, okay? So he should do like four years uh, computer science, or uh, uh, for your education. Yes, right. Computer science education teacher in middle school and high school, yeah, just get the certification about computer science education. But uh, in elementary school, we can teach all subjects. Yeah, includes computer science in just in elementary school. Uh, I see. Uh, I see. Now we have the the same, almost the same system. So basically, let's say I, for example, I I did three years of computer science. Uh, I need to make exam to go to teach in in schools. For example, for high school uh, teachers. Four. Four years. In Korean system, so four years. Okay, to get the diploma of engineers or I don't know how you bachelor bachelor in computer science. Mm -hmm. Yeah, computer science uh, certification. Yeah, four years. Okay, and after that, you need to study one year or just an exam to make? After these four years of computer science, I go to be a teacher. To, to be a teacher. He means yes, to, be to be a be teacher. teacher. Mm -hmm. Do we need to, to make extra year, master degree, or we can go uh, straight to the schools? Um, mm. Can I can I explain? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. please. Uh, thank you. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've been studying about this a theme last year because I was curious about curious about how teachers are raised in other countries, 
And based on my research, it could wrong. It could be wrong. Uh, but uh, oh, in Korea, there is a special system called uh, teachers' college. So most of the teachers go to teachers' college in university, or um, okay, uh, in in normal university, we raise secondary school teachers, and there are special special uh, teachers' university for uh, elementary school teacher to raise elementary school teachers. Uh, uh, am I? Do you understand? Um, yes. For now, we I have making... the same system. Oh, okay. For primary school, yeah, we have I'm, special I'm... school teachers, and for yeah. uh, middle school and high school, you should go to that yeah. university. For example, computer science or geography yeah. or math. After that, you will join uh, teaching by making exam usually, and uh, this is the procedure in Tunisia. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Right. uh where, where do you live? I'm sorry, I, I didn't get it. Okay, I am from Tunisia, Tunisia, North Africa. Tunisia, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Uh, so based but on I my work research, in the UAE the... now. UAE, oh, UAE. okay, okay. Yes. Okay, okay, you're saying that there are special uh, university for teachers, right? In Tunisia? Yes, for primary school teachers, oh, uh, okay. we have special. Okay. Uh, and they teach okay. all the subjects, so, like in Korea. Okay, so based on my research, I only found uh, Japan and China to be similar, to have similar system with Korea, and I'll, I have to include Tunisia from today. So, uh, to be a teacher in Korea, there is a second, there is a teacher's, you need teacher certificate. And there are two types of teacher certificate. So when once you graduate from the teacher's college, you get second tier teacher certificate. And that, may, that means that you can take the national, national test to become a teacher. Once you pass the test, you have to work for uh, three years and then you have to uh, get some uh, educational program to get the first tier uh, teacher certificate. Am I making sense to you? Uh huh. I see. Uh, so you are speaking about high school and middle school, right? Uh, all, all the same mm -hmm. from elementary schools. Uh, actually, from kindergarten to to high school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you I need see. a teacher certificate. Uh, that's a that's a point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And then there is another I, I route. Yeah, mm -hmm. there is another route, and this is. I think this is similar to other countries other than Korea, uh, Japan, and China and Tunisia. Normally in America or uh, in the UK or, you know, and so on, normally people go to just university and they major in various kinds of um, majors. And then once, you, once they decide to become a teacher, they go to this um, course to become a teacher. So basically they don't have any special um, qualifications to become a teacher, uh, to, to take the teacher training course. That's the big difference between Korea and other countries. That's what I found. Mm -hmm. I and think I that the main here. difference is this national exam to be approved. That's right, that's right. That's the main, That's right. for example, here in Brazil, we only have mm -hmm. this kind of national certificate for um, one, one major, just for those who want to be lay lawyers, just for lawyers. Uh -huh. After they finish uh -huh. the college, they only have the, right. the license, to, 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 uh, mm -hmm. to be a lawyer if they pass this national mm -hmm. uh, uh, exam. They have this level mm -hmm. to be achieved. Otherwise, they have no license to, to work with that. We, mm -hmm. we, we mm -hmm. would like to it, we'd have more for other professions because, for example, here in Brazil, we have uh, uh, mm -hmm. a lot, a lot of private universities or private right. colleges. And for sure, the, mm -hmm. the level is not the same, 
but even those oh. many um, people had this license to work as a for example teacher or uh, as a doctor mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. don't have even uh, <laughs> not at the same level so we, oh. we we would like to have this level this certain national level to be achieved to to guarantee to to be sure that the, we have good professions in all country uh, i think this is the uh -huh. main difference i don't know if in korea do you have this kind of national certificate for other professions or only for teachers if you well in, well in korea most of the like professions need certificate normally to become a lawyer doctor you know they need they have to go to this special college for to get the education for that and then they ha they get this uh, certificate and they ha they have to pass the exam national exam and then they can work as a as a teacher or po police officer and so on <laughs> normal uh, that's most of uh, that's the most of it thanks for explanation i, I see that's a huge difference <laughs> among the other countries <laughs> okay thank you So, um, Jane, would you like to, to say something in comments? Thank you. I um, <clears throat> thank you very much for your presentation. But um, in my country, we we can in public school we we cannot uh, do the same case with Korea because the school is still really poor and uh, have no computers to do it. So um, we need more time to uh, um, to to follow you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh, but you. in Korea, we also have limited resources like uh, we only have 30 computers in our school, but we have uh, in our school, there are um, 200 students in sixth grade who need to learn about programming or AI. So I also teach them using unplug method to teach AI or software. I can use the textbook. And also I can use some board game or worksheet or learning, uh, teaching a concept of AI or concept of software. So I think um, if someone has um, their uh, thought, if someone wants to um, teach AI or software, uh, they can, um, uh, they can prepare the resources from internet using unplugged method. Yes. I would like to know um, if, if, if AI can make people more, uh, if AI can make students happier, uh, in your in your opinion in according to your opinion uh is it is is it sure is it sure that that ai will make human more uh make human happier uh, oh. are, are you sure oh i'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> But I think AI will be general in our life, like yes. internet or electricity or water. I think AI will be more general in our life. Yes. I, I hope AI can make human being feel happier. Yes. And what for living? I hope that because for for this um, for this 
work. Um, so many uh, people become poor and unhappy by the war. So I try to um, help them feel um, happy, better. feel better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yes. I, I, I think, uh, excuse me, Jane, I, I think that Inzion gave a very good idea that you could use with your students, this unplugged method. There's so much material to, to prepare the students when you don't have uh, computers and other materials available at schools, especially poor schools we have here in Brazil too, this kind of stuff. So I think you you could both, mainly because you speak Korean, <laughs> so you can ask In Jong because he's very uh, good. He, he was work like this in, in his country too. It's good that that's the idea of this group, this community to exchange ideas and make this bridge uh, among the, the good uh, teachers in the world. So I think it's a good idea for Cuba also, isn't it? Your, do you use unplugged methods with your students in Cuba? Your Alex is from Cuba. Yeah, thank you. Hello. Well, in, in Cuba, when we are introduced uh, the robotic, the, the, first, the first step. And um, after and before uh, we introduced in curriculum the the programming language with with Scratch, and later introduce uh, the robotic. The artificial intelligence is is a a, a future vision because uh, it's not access to in other in all the school to practice with the problem with internet and access the the other service to to use artificial intelligence. Um, it's, it's interesting to uh, know about, about this, this program in South Korea, but uh, to know about the, the results and share in, in, in our country about the, the important, the, the benefits that, that use artificial intelligence to, to, to learn in, 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 all, in all kids and develop uh, abilities, no? abilities to solve abilities and hard abilities in, in all, our students. Thank you, Your. It's good to know and others to know to, to how it's this kind of stuff around the world and learning from uh, teachers directly from the teachers who are working with that at this moment. This is very good. I have Adele? a point to just uh, sure. about what she was talking about. She said, will AI make us happy? So basically she is asking about the social impact of AI or how AI will impact our normal life. For me, it's a huge, huge import, uh, important question that we need to ask our students. Let's say, ask, I will ask you this question. What is the most used now apps in your countries? Which one? You will tell me which application your students or our students are using. We see TikTok, for example, right? TikTok, it's used in your countries. In Korea, is it used? In Vietnam, is it used TikTok? So in Cuba, is it used? TikTok, is it famous? In Cuba, it's popular in Cuba, TikTok, la aplicación. In Cuba, it's, it's not popular. But, he speaks but, Spanish but, now. <laughs> uh, it, 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 it's banned. It's banned, is it banned? In Cuba, no, no, en Cuba, el uso de TikTok no es muy popular por el acceso a internet. O sea, ah, implica, okay. implica mm -hmm. o, eh, eh, usar VPN para poder acceder, mm -hmm. no usar la línea. O sea, hay varios, hay, hay todo un algoritmo, <risa> hay todo mm -hmm. un algoritmo para poder acceder a TikTok But, desde Cuba. Pero mm -hmm. es posible, pero eh, lo más famoso he, he said, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Mm -hmm. he, he said that in Cuba, uh, there is a problem of uh, connecting to the internet, so it's not very, very popular. So what I'm saying about TikTok, for example, and all these social media uh, instruments, they are addictive. And the reason they are more and more addictive is because AI. 
if you understand how AI works, you will understand how these kind of application make us addicted to uh, to uh, uh, to this application and to be unfortunately disconnected from the real uh, world. I give this example. For example, it is an unplugged activity that we can do. For example, you give them like uh, a, a, a theme about videos. For example, I don't know about action, uh, type of music, different types. And you say AI will make you, because around you uh, in this area, people, they, look, they love, let's say, uh, pop music. AI will suggest you to, teach, to, to see this pop music. So even if you don't like pop music, you will be uh, by by repeating the videos the contents you will see all the time the content that uh, 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 people around you they are seeing or uh, people of the same age of you so for me it's very dangerous because it's like ai wants us to be one box and they are reducing uh, or eliminating the differences of uh, of every person or uh, the interest of uh, every person so i don't know I, I mean in when we leave the technical part i see ai as a very dangerous uh, thing i don't know this is personal and i think it's interesting to talk with the students to to not take it as easy as okay let's make ai yeah let's bring ai no 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 before uh, bringing ai Think about the impact of what you are doing uh, on people, on the local communities. You understand? I hope that my idea is clear. Yes, thanks, Adele. Uh, but if I understood, uh, you're saying in this way, AI will be reinforcing the problems of the social media among the, yes. the youth, yes. especially. Mm -hmm. Yes, youth or everyone. AI will choose what you will see on TikTok, on Facebook, on Twitter. Maybe it's already been done. No, no, it's, uh, this is why these social media they are addictive for all people, because they show you uh, a content that is good for you. I mean, they know that it is good for you. That's, that's one good question. Yeah. We have Nick from India today. Hi, Nick, are you there? And we have another person that I don't know. She's so here we, from Tunisia. So we, oh, so here. she's, so here. oh, so here. Okay. So, um, I, do, I think we are about to, 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 to finish this meeting. I'd like to, to thank you very much for being here and for your participation. I think this is a very interesting and important subject to, to, to think about our, as Adele pointed, it's maybe it's not so good that we have to think about and prepare our students to that. Is your, Thank you so much for preparing this great presentation for us. And final words, please. Thank you much. Incheon, would you like to, 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 to oh, say some um, final <laughs> considerations? Yeah. <laughs> comments? Um, I think using AI will be similar as using internet in the future. So I think using AI, um, ah, AI will make people happy is a same question as internet will make people happy. So I think we have to continue to teach how they can uh, use AI better and how can they use AI with good um, ethics. So we have to keep uh, students to learn uh, how to use AI. So um, to introduce uh, AI to our students is, uh, I want to expect our students to 
uh, use AI better in the future. So um, anyway, uh, thank you very much for being here to uh, listen my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for everybody for being here. Bye bye. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was thank really a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. See you next time. Thank See you. See you next time. Yeah.